Only on Fox 56. The cold will kill you in minutes. This is hell on earth. People want to underestimate me. I'm a lot stronger than people think. I want to get punished. Special Forces World's Toughest Test premieres September 25th on Fox. This is a Fox 56 News breaking weather alert with your weather authority chief meteorologist, Mike Susco. Jey Uso makes his last stand ahead of tribal combat for the WWE Universal Championship. Tonight at 8 on Fox 56. Programming us a tornado has been issued for Susquehanna County. It is this red polygon that you see that's in the far northeastern corner of the county, right by the New York border. It's a radar indicated tornado, meaning we are seeing rotation here on the radar. Let's zoom in here and really get an idea of what's going on here right now as this storm, again, is in Susquehanna County by Susquehanna Depot. Your alarm on your phone, the wireless emergency alerts probably went off. You are, your tornado warning is just to your east here as this system will be continuing over the next, uh, at least for the next 20 minutes with this tornado warning in Susquehanna County. There is no other tornado warning in our area. It's just this one. Uh, but obviously Susquehanna County is in our area, so we're going to be covering this for you. So that way we uh, can keep those, our friends up there safe. So here's a look at the rotation. We're going to be looking at this rotation here. Uh, Jake, if we can actually scroll up a little bit, please, and get that in the center of the screen, uh, the other direction. Uh, there, but we're we'll looking at this rotation as we be checking out on where the different colors are on this map, and that is where we see the rotation with this system. So this right here, where you're seeing right by Stevens Point, this is the rotation. So the red radar, red uh, color indicates the wind going away from the radar. Green is towards, and we're getting a little bit of a spin right here near Stevens Point. So that is where the uh, tornado, potential tornado is going to be as it continues moving to the southeast around 15 miles per hour. So here is a look at what we got in terms of uh, the track here. We'll pull up a track for you here in just a second with this system as it comes on through. But at 15 miles per hour, this is not a very fast moving storm. So that is uh, perhaps some good news with this. But if we pull this down, you can see the track uh, with this here. So Stevens Point, if you are in Stevens Point right now, you want to be taking your tornado precautions. What that is going to entail is going to be going to the lowest level, most interior room of the house. You want to go to, again, a, base, a basement if you have one, a closet or a hallway. Get under something that is sturdy and want to cover your body, uh, blankets, pillows if you can. Right now, the tornado is just radar indicated, meaning that we have not seen anything on the ground just yet, but it can happen very quickly. So you want to be making sure you're taking those precautions uh, right now as the system continues to move on through. Let's put this in a stop here with the loop right now. You can see we also have a couple severe thunderstorm warnings, one in Bradford County, another one in Susquehanna County, and another one out there in Clinton County near Lock Haven. Those are just severe thunderstorm warnings for large hail and gusty winds. The one that we're really concerned with right now is the tornado warning here in Susquehanna County. Like I said, that storm continuing to move to the southeast here around uh, 15 miles per hour. So we'll put it on here, get the actual timing for you, see where this thing's going. So around... 15 miles here. There you go. So Staruka, 315 for you. If this holds together, then I'll be going to Tallmanville around 330 and then Preston around 337. If this holds together, this is where the rotation is. You can see that little nub there in the, uh, on the thunderstorm. That's typically where you would see the rotation if there is anything that's actually developing. But this is uh, a tornado warning going into effect for another 20 minutes. Once this expires and we have no more tornado warnings, we will return you to your regular programming. But until then, we're going to keep tracking this for those who are in the path of this dangerous storm. So uh, let's clear this data off here for a second. And uh, let's do, try that again. There we go. We'll take another zoomed in look here on what we got going on with this storm. Again, in northeast Susquehanna County, with this cell and is going to be that rotation. Let's uh, throw on the debris tracker. You might have seen this product before. It's called the correlation coefficient. That's the actual term for it. It's a debris tracker. What it's saying is I'm sending out a radar beam. All the raindrops are the same size, same shape generally, so they're very highly correlated. That is the, going to be the purple color that you see. When you start getting things that are different shapes and sizes, tree branches, leaves, um, parts of houses, then you start getting the lower colors here, and it would be in the shape of a ball. It actually looks like a dot. 
uh, on the radar. The good news is where we're seeing that rotation near Stevens Point, I'm not seeing the drop in the correlation coefficient. So at least from the terms of the radar, doesn't look like we're necessarily picking up debris, at least right now. We'll continue to take a look on that here. We're going to throw back on our storm velocity because that shows us the rotation and you can see how we still are seeing that couplet those uh, near Stevens Point here and let's back let's zoom in see if we can get some uh, roads to pop up here even more near Stevens Point for our friends there so we got Stevens Point where this rotation is coming through you Staruka Crest uh, there it looks like or Creek Road excuse me that is uh, where the rotation is about to pass over near Bethel Hill Road and Staruka Crest uh, Creek Road and this is also going to be to the east of Brandit. So if you're in Brandit, this is to your east. If you're heading along Staruka Creek Road towards Stevens Point, you want to stop, let this storm pass. And it looks like that rotation now going over the Stevens Point area uh, right now. So we'll continue to keep an eye on this here over the next several minutes as this storm continues moving in the area. And Jake, uh, you've been watching NWS chat. Have they said anything about this storm recently? No. No, they haven't? No, nope, haven't put any update out yet. Okay, in fact, it, but it looks like we're starting to get some reports out in Clinton County. So let's zoom out. We're going to go over to Clinton County, track the rest of these storms here, because we have more severe thunderstorm warnings for the area. This is in Clinton County, and that goes till 315. You can see the wind speeds there of 60 miles per hour. So that's also another storm that will be uh, continuing to move through. It looks like it's about to go into Snyder and Union County, too. So heads up if you're in western Snyder and Union County, uh, especially long 522. Between I-80 and 522, it looks like you're about to get a nasty storm uh, in your area soon here as well. So let's take another look here. This time we're going to be going uh, up to... Uh, Bradford County where we end up seeing that other cell that is watching that severe thunderstorm there too. So we'll go to Northeast PA and we have that severe thunderstorm warning there too. So we're going to be looking at this one. We'll center it so that we actually get the information to pop up. And that severe thunderstorm warning again goes till 315 with large hail and damaging straight line winds in Bradford County. In Tawanda, you're getting some heavy rain that's moving through right now. We also have this severe thunderstorm warning that is in Susquehanna County. So this one here goes until three o'clock, so about another minute or so. That was for uh, golf ball size hail and wind speeds of 60 mile per hour. That golf ball size hail is what uh, gave us the considerable tag there. So now we're gonna see if they extend it or let it expire. It looks like that one is maybe actually diminishing, but obviously our main concern is this tornado warning that goes for about another 15 minutes on northeastern part of Susquehanna County. New Milford, you are not in the tornado warning here. Uh, this is just to your north and east. So we'll be watching this cell once again. You can see how it looks like it might be starting to uh, what we call gusting out. So what that would mean is, is that this line, we lose that hook. It would be more of a straight line, similar to this, actually. So when this happens, we'll end up getting more of a straight line wind threat. There's enough of a hook, though, still, where they're saying that we need have a potential tornado in this area again near the Stephen Points area of Highway 171 heading towards Staruka uh, at the moment. So we'll put another track on for all of you at home so you can see where this is heading. We'll try to get as close as I can here. Staruka around 325, 330. I will be honest, this is going around 11 miles per hour with it just because we're too zoomed in. So this is, might be actually a little slower. So it might be around 3.30 for you. And then as we go to Tallmanville, it'll be probably closer to the quarter of four for you, Preston 3.50, Lake Como around four o'clock, if not just after, if this holds together. This is where we're watching this cell, really uh, seeing if it ends up tightening up. And when we look at the data here, uh, at least at the moment, it doesn't look like it's uh, really tightening up here. In fact, it looks like it's getting a little bit more messy at the moment so hopefully that is a good sign and it's about to also push into parts of northern wayne county uh, so they may actually even issue a tornado warning for northern wayne county we'll see if they end up doing that if that cell continues moving to the east but we're watching right here in extreme northeast susquehanna county as the storm continues for another 15 minutes with this cell in fact they just dropped the tornado warning so jake let's actually zoom out all the way here let's do one final check and if we are good with tornado warnings then master control we can uh, return to programming because right now it looks like we have no tornado warnings in susquehanna county or wayne county Let's zoom out across the entire area here and let's see if we can uh, actually 
see if we are in the clear for the moment. Uh, and I'm not seeing any tornado warnings anymore, so that is good. We have no more red polygons, so we'll be able to return you guys to your regular programming. Thanks for uh, tuning in with us. If there's any more warnings, we'll jump back in, and we'll have your latest forecast at 10. Thanks for watching. This is a Fox 56 News breaking weather alert with your weather authority chief meteorologist, Mike Susco. If you're already helping a loved one, friend, or disabled person with care, you already qualify for a truly rewarding career. As a help at home caregiver, the things you are already doing, like housekeeping, meal preparation, and running errands, can now earn you great pay and excellent benefits, even a $2,000 sign on bonus. There's never been a better time to join the Help at Home family. Voted Best In-State Employer by Forbes. Call to learn.